Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Scum, and we are now in Season 3 and Episode 16. Well, last episode we came to this small town. So we're sort of in the middle bottom area of C2, just above the airport. So we've come for a bit of a run up here, trying to find a little car. Now, we found one just down the road here, uh, and she looked great. Um, but, yeah, she doesn't have an engine, so, uh, we're not sure what we can do here, but, um, we're going to continue on and see if there's another vehicle in this town. Uh, let's see. Is it still there? It's still there because I put the hood up. So, there it is just down there. Yeah, he's a bit cold. So, the police station's just up here, so it's worth having a bit of a visit up here as well. Um, maybe we can take on... whoever's in here, maybe? I can't hear a puppet. Let's have a look. Nothing in there. That's not unusual, but... Yep, there they are. You coming out? Come on. Holy dooly. There you go, now she's woken up. Alright, come out and play then. I don't know. Oops. There's one to the head. Oop, missed that one. Oh, that one hit. That really. <laughs> oh, you stuck on that cupboard again. Gee, we're not getting really well coordinated here, are we? That's better. Now we're dancing. Come on, lady. Go down. Thank you. Oh dear. Okay, we're inside. Just a shirt. Don't forget, I'm, I have. I did reload the game since we've been here. Hopefully, there's no one upstairs at the moment. Trainer shoes? No, not really. Let's just have a look. So, kilt. Antibiotics? No, I'm kidding. I wish. Oh, we got some thread. We got some thread. Fantastic. Actually, how much? Yeah, we're okay for our, our tum tum for the time being. No one in the bedroom. No. Nope. Coast is clear, thank goodness for that. Another shirt. Picture of a little girl there. That's the same picture, they haven't changed that. Uh, eat. I'm gonna eat the onion because it's in good nick. So that's interesting. Now there's a. Uh, I'm finding a few thread here and there. Uh, the kitchen knife, no. No. on it this time around. Soap. Nothing in there. So I think we've done everything in this. Oh, that's a soap. Like a piece of banana there for a sec. Did I do this one? I did. Alrighty. Onwards and upwards to the police station, I guess. And there's garages in there as well. See, that's, that's pretty good. Now, there's another little uh, water pump out there. What's the odds there? Nothing in it. I kind of wonder why they put them in the game if they're never going to have water in them. Yep, someone on the floor down there. Now, how, how busy is the police station? I can see a guy on that side guy with the helmet. Can I sneak in this side? No one on the floor there. No one in there. Anyone around the front? No one in the big room? Nope. Hmm. Do I get my morning 
coffee? No, apparently I don't today. There is an ATM near that, by the way. Alright. At least we know the other room is clear. Oh, what magazine is that? Uh, we've had, we've got the HS9, is it 9, SF19 or something at home? Um, I will be taking that, definitely. Uh, where's my... Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, that is brilliant. That's a bit of a game changer for me. Make sure I've got enough of that in my sleeve. Oh, what the what? That's a 30 out. I've never seen a Peacekeeper. Is that a new gun, is it? 9mm ammo. How much have we got? That's 45s. Oh, do we not have? Maybe we don't have. Hmm. Something's got to give, Trev. Make a bit more space, I think. Actually, that little bone needle and that thread goes together, hey? doesn't kind of really give you that much more space, but uh, let's craft it then. Where is it? So what's everything else like down here? Shoes are at 98, they're okay. 97, 98, 98. So they're mainly okay. That's 100. think I can put actually if I eat a potato he's gonna have to pee in a sec but yeah bit of inventory management here do that put this thread down into here where the potato was and then I can put the 38 in there it's kind of handy okay so let's put that in there Okay, so let's see, uh, where were we, in there? So we'll try keeping the 38 on us, because that could be a handy gun at least. Oh my goodness, there's an MP5 in here. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Oh, are you kidding me, a 357 as well? Another block 21, 357 ammo. Gee, I don't know. Oh man, there's some good guns in here. I have to start to think about... Uh, I've already got tactical military pants. That's pretty good though, actually. Don't need a knife. Need magazines though, that would help. Oh, that's alright. I take it that went in together. Oh man, I tell you what, I might have to drop the kilt. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Very... Mm. <sighs> Serpent 357. The block. The MP5 is probably the better weapon. Not that I have a magazine for it yet though, hey. It's way too big just to squeeze in. I need a fair bit more space. Um. Alright, eat that and then I'm gonna have to pee. I'm gonna throw up, am I? No. Alright, we need a bit more space, Trev. Got the Kruger magazine. Oh my goodness. See, there's a few things in here that I might just have to throw out. Sorry, Angel's Pants. They're gonna have to go elsewhere. I'd love to keep them. Uh, let me just throw these out for a tick, move them out of the way. So really, I really, really want the MP5. Okay, so that's back in. That's probably a better compromise. I've lost a lot of, you know, possibilities for rags, but I've got a fair few more down the bottom here. Alright. Let's just pee. I'm just curious, there's other, you know... This is not the only room in the police station, obviously, so... We're probably going to have to go loud at some point to attract them. We'll see if we can run up into the jail cell. One one of the two. Uh, just make sure what's he got. 
Yeah, he's got his. Oops, sorry, he's got his nine ammo, so he's right to go. It's probably not. Oh, maybe I do get my morning coffee. No, still don't. Could drink that though. Hang on. Uh, oh, he's outside. Oh, the guy outside saw me. Yeah, man. Good ammo for the MP5. Where is he? Tell you what I could do. Hang on. Hello. Alright, that's working up the neighbourhood. Let's see who arrives. Oh no, here he comes. This is probably the guy from upstairs. Hello, sir. I can still hear more footsteps. Where is he? Is he on the roof? Or is he in the jail cell upstairs? I thought he would have come down by now. Alright, let's go visit him then. Closer, shouldn't I? Well, I take it that that's it. Can't hear any more noise. That's the only advantage of going loud inside of here, is at least you attract everyone that you want to attract. Alright, let's see. The odds of them having something amazing is probably not very high. Yeah, not really. Uh, we're coming back. We just want to grab this guy while we have a chance. Doing a bit of a jiggly thing. Yeah, we did all that. Start from down here. Antibiotics. <laughs> wishful thinking, Trev. Wishful thinking. Alright, let's see. There is a key card, which I'll probably never use, but we, oh, we can't even fit it in anyway. Peacekeeper 38. There's another one. I wonder if that point three eight. Yeah, okay. That's why they call it a thirty eight, Drew. Hey. Ooh, hang on a tick. Hang on a tick. Oh, what, why have we got two sets of scissors, by the way? That that is great. That is absolutely fantastic. All right. So can we do it like this? No, we can't. Alright, well, can we do it like this? So there's my weapon parts. So, can I repair that? Oh yes, thank you so, so much. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. I might have to just drop these, but at least that gun has given me a chance with the toolkit to actually get my gun back to 100%. How cool is that? Alright. Very, very good, I say. And quality duct tape. Ooh. Did I have a large bottle of drink? I did. So how about we just change that for that? Some more ammo. 45 is what I had, wasn't it? Hang on, can I just join these? Or is that full? No? Well, it's full learn now. <laughs> uh, these guys, I don't think they'll probably have much, but you never know. Occasionally you might find a battery or something in here. Cool, alright. I highly doubt there's anyone sleeping around on the floor, not after all the noise we just made, but... Let's just double check... No, 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 no... Alright. Let's see what other goodies... Oh, hang on. What's that? Oh, Deagle 50. 
it's a really bad condition, so I have to keep an eye on that slot, but probably won't end up being able to use it, but you never know. Helmet, stab proof vest I've already got. Crying out loud, how many different magazines can I put in my fine? Uh, goes that, in comes the M19. HS9 was what we just picked up, right? Yes, I can double up that one. Oh man! You know what game? There's too many options. So. I have got a magazine somewhere. I think there's one downstairs for this thing too. Uh, it uses different ammo, but that's another gun I could use. Viper 357 block 21. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we're after. Hang on. Hang on, put that away. That's my gun. Well, actually, hang on, where's my 45 ammo? It's down here, is it? Okay. So if I take that and load my ammo first... It's at 60-something percent. It's not brilliant, but... Actually, maybe I can fix that. Hang on. That gun's up pretty high, isn't it? can repair it. Cool, so if I bring the gun out and now I reload, I'm putting the mag in it. Now if I double check, I'm carrying 14 out of 13. That's a lot better. Well that was a win people. At least we have a um, a magazine for the Block 21. <laughs> what am I now? I'm crying out loud. Okay, um, alright, so if we put the gun back we haven't got an awful lot of space left. So this is the question now. Do we take this, the MP5? Or do we take the 47U? If I put that out and I pick that up, that will actually fit in its place. The, uh, this is the difference. I've got a magazine for the 74U, but it's loud. I could technically get a silencer and a mag for that, and it just uses 9mm ammo, which I could use with a uh, 9mm gun, perhaps, or something else. Oh, man. Yeah, jeez, you know what? I'm going to take the MP5 for the reason that, so far, unless the loot's changed, which it could have, because of 8.85 update, but this MP5 seems to be rarer to find than the 74U. That's all I'm going on. And it's kind of potluck. I could be completely wrong. Anyway. Oh, man. Did I have... Oh, I did have... Hang on. Did that go in there? No. I don't know why it doesn't just automatically join wherever you've got it. Uh, no time for drinking, Trev. Hat. Compass, uh, kitchen knife. I really highly doubt I'll get the gun out, but I highly doubt there's much on the roof. Doesn't sound like there's a person on the roof. Nothing in my vicinity, I don't think. Oh, there is some water. Hang on. Uh, we could probably drink all that. And then pee again. So metabolism wise, food and water, he's doing alright. He's doing quite well actually. Uh actually where did he put that? Don't need the empty water bottle, dude. The only other good thing about being up this high is you can have a bit of a look around the like a sticky big from up here to see if there's uh any obvious cars hanging around. See anything else? So the little red car is just through there. There's a little brown car that needs uh, some attention. And 
very, very bad condition. So, I guess there's nothing much else we can do in here. We did manage to get that magazine for the Block 21, which is good. And what was the other thing we were looking at? There's 9mm AP... See, there's the magazine that could have fitted the 74U, but uh, I'm taking a bit of a gamble. Oh, man. Alright. Can't have everything, I guess. Rubber band. CD player. You know what I'm... I'm chockers as anything at the moment. So I'm really just having a bit of a sticky big around, seeing if I can find a working car. That's kind of what I'm doing. I highly doubt if I've already seen a car in this area that there's going to be another one. So that's kind of my gut feeling. I'm also taking a bit of a gamble just running out in the open a bit like this, but... Ooh, ooh, guess what I can see? That is a pharmacy, is it not? back that way. Does he want to pee already? I think he does. No one's in here, right? Alright, dude. You know what you need to do. Let it go. In the corner. That'll do. Yep, I guess we're just going to head to the pharmacy in a sec. Have a bit of a quick look around, make sure there's no other cars. It's a shame that little red car didn't have an engine. That would have been awesome. It's such a kind of like, you know, awesome, pleasant surprise thinking, oh wow, finally got a car, and then it's like, no you don't. Where did I hear that? The other thing too is there's plenty of garages around here too, eh? Definitely hear someone. So let's see. Someone's bound to be in here, I would have say. Wakey, wakey, up close. Anybody upstairs? Because if there's someone upstairs, they're coming downstairs. I can hear footsteps, but I'm not sure whether they're actually in this building or not. Oh, they're not in this building. Oh. Uh, not bad. Uh, what are we up to with this? 64%? Really? I don't know it was that bad. Alright, let's just yank that out. We can. 70. How do you know how much charges? Check. 90. What? Must be this one. Okay, so we'll put that back. Check again. We're at 89%. That's not too bad. Uh, vitamins. We already got vitamins, haven't we? I might risk it and take another one of these today. And that can just stay there, that's not really a big deal. Uh, that's good that there's vitamins there, but we've already got some, so... We won't worry about them at all. Like pajama bottoms... Rag strip... Bun bag... We've already got the sporing bag. Oh, there's two of them! Wow. And a decent pair of scissors. That's why it's so good to come to a, the pharmacy. Pretty good stuff in here. Yeah, I know. I know. They're pretty annoying. They're outside getting upset. I'm not paying them any attention to the paper. Okay. I think there was anything else, was there? No. Alrighty, let's double check what's downstairs. 
you guys? I can hear the snow. They're coming, I think. There he is. You know full well I don't have time for this. Come on. Where are you? Do the bottom area. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's got to be worth having. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, I've got like construction stuff and everything, like bolts and all sorts of stuff on me at the moment, which is awesome, but it just makes it really hard to fit everything in your inventory. You have to prioritize so much. Oh, he's got thread on him. And some buckaroonies. Oh, what are we going to do, Trev? Eat another potato? <laughs> Probably. Oh, dear. Alright, hang on. Let's just craft this. I suppose that's the beauty of having extra food on you. Maintaining a really high level of food and water, but removing some food to replace it with other stuff. Oh dear. Alright, so if we eat the but Oh, we're already way up. Shouldn't matter. Alright, let's eat that and we can put that in. That's a really good find, the emergency bandage pack, so I think it should have quite a few um, emergency bandages in it. So if we get stuck, we'd have to be quick to unpack it and everything, but it should, it should work. Should work in our favour kind of thing. Alright, so we've got that going. Oh, painkillers. I've got painkillers. Just in case something goes a little bit wrong, I suppose. That hospital pants, another pair of scissors, rag strip, another pair of scissors. What's the bottom I've got? Ooh. That would give me energy, wouldn't it? It's gonna only just fit there. Okay. Did we check for money in here? See, it's always worthwhile checking for your money, Trev. Uh, I think this is the last one. Just a uh, mask. Now, I, I think this knucklehead is next door. I believe. Alright, is that worth searching her? As long as no one else is running around on the snow. Gee, I so much wish I could build a little base somewhere up here and just put some storage down, eh? Well, I don't see any other cars lying around. Oh, there's a zombie there. Or a puppet. few options. I am really, really tempted to put down a, um, a little base not far from here, in the woods somewhere. Just small enough so that we can... Uh, just to put a chest and a little fire and stuff, you know. Hang on, let me just uh, walk over to this area over here. a little bit of space. There's a puppet just there. Okay, I don't think they've seen us. So we're right there. Although, yeah, we are in the C2 sector, but this is not the ideal location to build a base, I'm sure. I think I'm better off just going back to the main base, offloading stuff, and then coming back up. I want to go to the next town further up, but it's just pointless going if I've got too much gear on me sort of thing. Uh, I might have to take this one out. Which might attract all the attention in the world, or do we just go past them a bit? I'm trying to be really careful with my ammo at the moment too, being... Yeah, might, might 
get away with it. I'll just go down this way. Well, I don't know. I think... I might just be able to scoot back to base. Oh, look, you can see the aircraft. Sorry, the airport from here. Don't really want to go running all the way through the woods, though, to get there. Gee, I tell you what, she's an awful, awfully good view from up here. If you had a little flat area up here, it'd be an awesome base. Look at that for a view. Jeez. I'm trying to work out exactly where this, um, don't want to fall off a cliff here, but where's the little open area? Where our cornfields are and whatnot. I think we're heading in the right direction. Don't see any bears or wolves, thank goodness. I think this is, yeah, I think we're heading the right way now. Well, nothing else has really happened to us, so... Oh, at least we've got the magazine. Oh my goodness, what a lot of work we have to get through, I suppose, hey? To have all this working. I think I might not be in exactly the right location here. see the the hunter's hut through here. So we would have to basically go all the way back up past the town that we were just at. You know what I might do, I think? Go back to base, unload this stuff, and then go up to this nearby little town and just see if anything has respawned at all. The tree stump, right? Almost look like a puppet spawned in. Should be doing this from the hut, but anyway, it looks safe enough. As long as the lamb doesn't mind. Got to look at doing some hunting, different sort of hunting. I don't think anything would have respawned up on the hunter's thing, but you never know. Oh, there's another thing too. Did I actually have... Did I have 22 ammo at all back at the base, or even a hunter magazine? I can't remember. 92.5% for the hunter, so I was kind of lucky to pick that up, actually. What is my metabolism like? Hang on. Oh, it's way up there. Still, a spare piece of corn in the belly is pretty good. Do that while we're walking. Yeah, interesting. Well, because we're in this area, I might as well just have a look up this uh, hunter's post, I guess. You know, you, we always think the, the hiking bag is an enormous amount of space, and I guess it is in terms of, you know, brand new game stuff and all that, but it doesn't take much to uh, fill it up. Has anything respawned? It has, but nothing we need. Oh well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, Triv. See if we can head back to base. Speed it up a little bit. Now that we're kind of in an open field, less likelihood running into a puppet. I suppose 
that all depends on how quickly things spawn in. So, unfortunate, I suppose. But yeah, we didn't find a working car up there, but uh, got ourselves a little bit of gear, and in particular that magazine, that's going to make life a heck of a lot easier for us. Uh, the only other thing which would be even better... Yeah, see the little green car is still through there, hey? The one without an engine. So now we've got a green car without an engine and a red car without an engine. That's why I reckon it's worth having a look up that little shopping centre again and just see if that little red car with the missing two wheels is still there. I'll just walk sideways into a root tree, trunk tree. Hopefully there's no animals here to surprise me. I can't hear anything. No bears, no wolves, no lambs. Alright, push him to the limit here a little bit, right to the fence line, dude. Alrighty, so we're back at base. Um, yeah, as Jimmy was joking around with me, uh, the door and, uh, yeah. Not exactly secure, but hang on, hang on, Jimmy. I'll just double check on this. Hang on, just ah, now I'm safe. All right, <laughs> kind of. Alrighty, uh, we put all this stuff. The MP5 can stay in here. I think I can squeeze this in. So, yep. So there's the hunter. Not bad, I suppose. Got a few weapons, but well, even got the RPG for crying out loud. But uh, no ammo as such. Um, just thinking, building stuff should probably go over here, shouldn't it? Really. So, in terms of nails and bolts, that is incredibly awesome. Can I just turn that that way? Thank you. Yeah, that is really good to have all that there now. Gee, that's surprising. I got a few grinding stones really early, hey? Another one of them, them. Probably could put another one of these down here. Yeah, packing in a bit of stuff here and there, aren't I? Is that, oops. You know, that went right to the top somewhere, didn't you? Yeah, there it is. It's annoying when it does that. Okay. So put it there. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the thing though. I'm picking up clothes and mainly using a lot of it, so I've just got some extra rags on me if I get tagged. Uh, I don't think there was any others, was there? Not really. So even when I found the um, the flint and steel here. I was just carrying it because I thought maybe I might make a base somewhere or something, but yeah, that didn't eventuate either. Alright. Maybe we can put a whole bunch of these together, I think. Might make it a bit easy to see what I have and haven't got. So the HS9 M1911, yeah, there's a bit around. Hang on a second, what was I missing here? Just the nails, because this would be a good miscellaneous one. Uh, hang on, let's just do the nails. There's ten nails, let's just do this cupboard. Alright, I just want to set the name to misc. There you go. And we can put a bunch of this kind of stuff just in here. Drink miscellaneous stuff. So HS9 uses the 9mm ammo, right? I might keep that over here. There's not much point having that. 
not much point having this. I know I've got a weapons thing as well, but oh, you know what? It'd be so good just to keep one of them on me. Nine mil ammo again. There's my forty fives. Forty fives. Some food, some drink, a lot of the shotgun ammo, which is okay to keep, I think. One emergency bandage. Hang on. Let me just. Yeah, do you or don't you do that? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. How do you pack yourself up so you're ready for all this stuff? Because we could just keep a couple of bandages like that, take the socks out, and keep that in there. That means we've got another two or three as well. I think I might do that. I know that fills me up a little bit. I'm going to eat that chocolate bar in a sec, I think. Well, actually, I don't have to. I can take that out and give myself a spare slot. Still got a couple of potatoes on me. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, dear. All right. Well, you know what, people? I'm going to have to leave the episode. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a, s little bit of a look around off camera again. But, uh, yeah, I don't think... We're going to have to keep doing this, though. Keep going out until we um, have exhausted. We could even go over to the um, shooting range as well. There could be a car there. But we're even down at one of the servos. The servos a long way away as well. Or a reasonable distance to you know, run, I suppose. Anyhow, we're going to have to keep doing it because we want our vehicle at some point. All right, everyone, I will leave the episode here. hope you've enjoyed today. Um, as we progress along trying to find a blinking vehicle that works. Um, if you've liked the episode, please go ahead and smash the like button, which really supports the channel, and even more so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.